Well, an, another uh, postmodern prophecy paradigm teacher would be uh, Peter Goodgame. He's one of the new up-and-comer uh, teachers. He's written prolifically on the, he has a, a blog and he has a number of articles mm -hmm. on the internet, but recently in 2012, Tom Horn published his book called The Second Coming of the Antichrist. Tom Horn also wrote the foreword to the book, and again, the thesis to that whole book is the fact that he believes that ancient Nimrod, you know, back from Genesis, mm -hmm. uh, is, was actually a Nephilim, and he's going to be reincarnated into the Antichrist, the one of Revelation. So um, that's Peter Goodgame. One, one has to question where they get that from the Bible, but proceed. <laughs> uh, most of it comes from ancient mythology, yes. especially the Egyptian uh, uh, mythology. Mm. We have Steve Quayle, who we've mentioned before. I, I think we mentioned him. Uh, he has written a book called Offspring of the Gods, The Sexual Corruption of, of uh, the Human Race. Uh, he is also uh, very connected with L.A. Marzulli and with Tom Horn and Chuck Missler. He has a website about the giants, the yes, Genesis giants, but they're not like you and I, when we read the text, would find them. They're creatures. They're hybrid, demonic type mm -hmm. creatures. And he shows some being killed, if I recall. Yes. In fact, he has a, a, a fictional book, and this is something that some of the authors have done, like Tom Horn. They'll write a fictional book, and they'll take their imaginations and their surmisings, and they'll put them into their non-fictional books to kind of give it a boost. Mm. And uh, this is the same way with, with Steve Quayle. He wrote a book called Long Walkers, and on the cover of that book is one of the most offensive graphics I've ever seen. And he claims that during the Gulf War... Uh, the soldiers, the American soldiers that went over there actually killed a Nephilim. And so the graphic on the front of the book shows this, this huge giantesque figure with six fingers and six toes, and they have him bound up, and he's obviously dead. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the, the subject matter. Of his fiction book. Of the fiction book, but oh, it's also okay. brought into the main teachings to sort of underscore this is what they really believe. Mm -hmm. So who creates these offspring? Who is mating with whom? To it would be Enix Watchers. Enix Watchers, are they get this from the apocryphal book mm -hmm. of, of Enoch. And the Watchers are the fallen angels, and they've somehow come down through the portals, through those multi-dimensions, the hyperspace dimensions. And that's where they mated with women and created this half demon and half human being, the mutant hybrids. All of these offspring, they say, have corrupted DNA. They've corrupted human DNA. And so what, is, what should we do with human beings who have this corrupted DNA? Well, uh, Steve Quayle, and we've quoted him uh, in a few of our articles, he contends that we should do what they did in the Old Testament. Uh, kill the giant. Kill the giant. Eradicate them. You know, it's one thing to talk about killing giants like David and Goliath. We think of that archetypal type imagery, but um, he's really talking about killing babies. They're not overt about that, but how no. else are we to read this? Yeah, how There's are we going threat. to uh, uh, assess human DNA and decide that certain people have inferior DNA and need to be eradicated? This is a very frightening Thesis. This is one of the most disturbing uh, elements, tenets, of mm -hmm. the teachings that we've come across. Yes. And again, that ties in with L.A. Marzulli's The Black-Eyed Children. Yes. And the uh, UFO abductions. L.A. Marzulli has written extensively on this, mm -hmm. that this is happening right now, that women are being abducted against their will and impregnated with this foreign DNA, and thus this is why humanity as we know it is being threatened to extinction. Now this is interesting because when I was reviewing all of the literature for Chuck Missler's um, book review that I wrote, Alien Encounters was the name of his book, I discovered that this is not a new thesis, that it's been talked about in the UFO lore community mm -hmm. for decades now, and I discovered that uh, Chuck Missler, who laid a lot of the groundwork for this Nephilim hybrid thesis, had actually gone out and gotten his source material from UFO sources. Yeah. And so this is the same teaching that they're coming up with, is that there are these 
uh, space aliens who communicate with human beings and abduct women and inseminate them and then harvest their supposed Biologic, babies yes. and and uh, so this is this is a common theme or a common thesis.